If you say the name Tyrone David to any cardiac surgeon on earth, they know exactly who you're talking about. Tyrone's name was like James Bond superstar in cardiac surgery. When Tyrone speaks, everyone listens. 25 years ago, I was pregnant, uh, about eight months pregnant, and I was newly scrubbing for Dr. David. And there was tons of people watching, and it was a very, very, very difficult case. And he couldn't repair what he was repairing, so he said, okay, I'm just gonna take this heart right out of the body, and he took it out and repaired it and put it right back in. And we don't call him God for no reason behind his back. We do, we say we're in God's room, we're working with God, and because he really is. You have no idea the inner satisfaction it gives to know that you made a difference. Even if the patient doesn't know yet, afterwards they'll come back to you and say, my God, how did you know? I said, that's from a doctor. Well, I met him in the operating room and I couldn't believe how fast his hands moved. There was a, um, a symmetry, almost a ballet-like quality to the way that he moves uh, in the operating room. Dr. David has no doubt had more impact in the field of cardiac surgery than any other surgeon that I know. Initially, there really was very little hope of trying to do anything. And it was only when Dr. David got involved and uh, looked at me, he said, we'll get through this uh, together. So for me, it was, you know, being able to have this gentle giant standing beside me, and I knew it was going to be fine at that point. I, I, I took a fellowship with um, Albert Schweitzer as a teenager in, in Equatorial uh, Africa. And Dr. Schweitzer is, uh, was both a physician and a, and a missionary. Uh, he taught me a lot. As I grew older, I realized that I had a gift, a gift of dexterity. During medical school, I knew I was gonna be a surgeon, but I did not, did not know what type of surgeon. During my surgical residency, I realized that heart was like the most intriguing one. There's an expectation that things will be done the right way, methodical way, meticulous way, efficient way. He doesn't just set the standard here, he sets the standard globally. In the late 80s, along with Dr. Vidal at the Peter Monk Cardiac Center, Dr. David developed what's now known as the David operation, where we take the patient's own native aortic valve and re-implant it inside a graft. The aneurysm is fixed and repaired no longer there, but the patient is able to preserve and keep their own aortic valve. Dr. David looked at this problem and said, well, this is a completely functioning valve. Why should we remove it? There must be a way of us dealing with this issue and actually sparing the valve. And so the valve sparing procedure done using the reimplantation technique is what later got his name, uh, the David procedure. Working with Dr. David has allowed me to see what's possible. I know now even uh, there's not a case that I do that I don't think of or do something that he taught me. Dr. David has been a great personal mentor of mine. He really is like my North Star in a lot of ways. He's my guiding light. He's on a mission to help people around the world. Centers all around the world call on Tyrone to come and teach them how to do his operation, other operations, and he answers the call. Tyrone had the unique vision to follow all of the patients that he operated on. So in the 80s, he said, I'm going to develop a database and I'm going to follow every single patient. So I'm going to know one year, two years, five years, 20 years later, how well the operations that I did turned out. And it's only by following the patients for that length of time that you can really appreciate, are things working well or are they not? And through that database, he has the longest follow-up of specific operations in the world in cardiac surgery. And the patients are very fortunate. Yeah. They know they're in the best hands. Yeah. 
he stays with the patient. He routinely does this. I'm not talking about staying for an hour or two afterwards. I'm talking about staying by the patient's bedside overnight and being ready if something needs to be done for that patient. Dr. David was at my bedside basically every day. Not basically, every day he came in to see me and see how I was doing. I, I didn't expect it, but he came every day. Every day he was there. How are you doing? How are you doing good? My interactions with him were, were amazing. Everywhere I went to other doctors, uh, when they saw who was going to be my surgeon, they were like, eyes wide open, wow, you're lucky. You know, you know, you got one of the best doctors here going on. There has to be that one organization that says there's no problem that is too significant for us to solve, too challenging for us to take on. Tyrone's one of the reasons why we can take on any kind of case at the Peter Monk Cardiac Centre. His legacy at Peter Monk Cardiac Centre has really been to instill and develop a culture of innovation, scientific curiosity, and clinical excellence in our team. And that is what he lives and breathes every day. And he has not only developed over a dozen different operations and operated on 15,000 patients and influenced hundreds of surgeons globally who come here to get trained by him, to see him operate, to be influenced by him. The standard by which every cardiac surgeon on earth should be judged. Perfection, true excellence, and a living legend. I'm always aiming for perfection. I never stop being so critical of myself, my performance. I'm not done yet. I have more things to do.